And here we are at the Four Seasons Hotel in St. Louis, our opportunity to talk it over with a guy that uh, I've grown up watching and I know a lot of people have grown up watching over the years, Patrick Renna. You know him better as the great Hambino from the movie The Sandlot, a cult movie, a classic baseball movie. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Yeah, thanks for having me, absolutely. We're just talking off the air here before we uh, got started. 20 years ago, you make the movie The Sandlot, never thinking that uh, 20 years later, here we'd be sitting in a hotel room in St. Louis talking about it. No, definitely not. I mean, yeah, we, we, we have no idea. You know, I was saying, you definitely know when something's bad, you know, which, which we knew while filming this. We weren't doing something bad. We definitely knew that it, it was a movie that was going to be good, but you can never plan or imagine for what Sandlot has become, you know? I know you've done a bunch of feature films since then, yeah. 25 or so, but is that still the role that you are remember for the most? And is that is that good or bad? I know some guys like oh, to remember for that, some don't. It's definitely the role I'm remembered for. And, you know, I don't, I look at it as a good thing. Uh, it's, you know, the director set has a really great line, which is you have a friend in every city that you don't know. And I, I think that to be able to meet people and have something to talk about and have known that you've affected their lives like that, I don't see how anyone couldn't appreciate that, you know? Now, did you have baseball memories as a kid? I mean, did you have a sandlot growing up that you played baseball on, or how did all that? Well, I didn't have a sandlot, but uh, I played on a diamond, you know, regular diamond. The only thing that I did have was, uh, I'm, I'm from the East Coast, and uh, we used to play a lot of stick ball with the tennis ball, and you know, like the, the uh, run-down tennis court. So that was sort of a sandlot, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, no, I played in Little League, and I played a lot of baseball growing up, for sure. Then you got into acting, obviously, at an early age, too. Yeah. When, you kind of, when you kind of heard about this role, did you kind of think this was tailor-made for you? Uh, I'm trying to think. I, I vividly remember the actual audition process, but I don't... You know, the, the scene that I auditioned for, I, I went in, I only auditioned once, because it was the day before they basically started the movie. Uh, and I was the last guy to audition for it, and it was a scene that was written. It, it, it was the scene where I'm behind home plate razzing the other team, you know, you know that's your sister out there in that field. But none of those lines were there. It was a whole different set of lines, which on the day of the shooting got, got changed, and the director was just tossing out new lines to me from over the dugout, and so that was all improv. But um, I don't think I... Me, you know, now that I think about it, when I, when I saw the character description, I probably chuckled to myself, oh, this will be fun, you know? What was the best part of the movie, of making the movie? What was the most fun? Uh, there's so many. I, you know, the pool scene was a lot of fun. Uh, I got to ham it up with all the ladies, you know, before the, the cannonball. And then we get to see Quinn kiss, kiss the lifeguards. Uh, Wendy Peppercorn. Yeah, Wendy Peppercorn. Yeah. We know them all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so to watch Squints do that, we, you know, it was sort of, uh, we got to enjoy the smooching of Wendy Peppercorn through Squints. You didn't though, get that opportunity? No, I turned it down. Oh. Like a fool. No, just kidding. No, I didn't get the opportunity. Yeah. But you did have, you had almost all the great lines in the movie, though, with you're killing me smalls, yeah. to, you want some s'mores, and, and, you know, you play like a girl. I mean, yeah. they, were all, they were all coming out of you. And, and I guess they were all in the script for you to say that? Yeah, basically, I mean, all of those that you just named were all written, yeah. And the only thing that wasn't written was, like I said, the improv scene uh, with the opposing team that was, you know, improv day up by the director. So they, I, I guess I lucked out with the lines because I did get a lot of the good one-liners, you know. What, was the immediate reaction to the movie, you know, really good when it, when it first came out? Yeah, I remember uh, the first time someone came up to me was before the movie had even come out and they just off the preview. So yeah, when things like that happen, you get a sense that it's going to be something good when the kids are approaching you. Uh, the directors, look at that, yeah, get them. <laughs> and we're visiting with Patrick Brennan, the, uh, the great Hambino, Ham Porter from the Sandlot. You're in town here as yeah. part of a, a tour. You're going around the country, obviously, for the 20th anniversary of the movie, but a couple other things which you're doing here in St. Louis, dedicating a uh, baseball field tomorrow, Thursday, through uh, Cardinals Care, built in Fenton, that's for special needs kids who enjoy doing those kind of activities as well. Yeah, I, I mean, what the Cardinals do with, uh, you know, their whole program is amazing, and to be able to dedicate this field to them is awesome. Uh, and it's an honor to do, and of course, yeah, to be able to help them create an environment for these task kids is awesome. And, you know, who baseball field for anyone is just going to improve someone's life, so I'm happy to do it. Now, what's been the highlight of the summer as you've traveled around and remembered to the movie from 20 years ago? Well, I think, you know, yeah, we were in Dallas and Minneapolis, and the director's doing a few 
bit more cities is doing some minor league parks, but I think uh, just getting to see him, you know, it's been 20 years, and I reunited with Squints uh, a couple weeks ago, and, uh, you know, just getting to see those guys is, is awesome, and it's, it's kind of like a high school, a junior high reunion for me, you know? We weren't quite high school yet. I, and I know this is true from a lot of, you know, child actors who, who get into the business early on, and they kind of go different directions. You've stayed in the business. But yeah. Has, has some of the other cast members just kind of splintered? I mean, you don't stay in touch with all those guys? You know, I, Sean C. Leopardi, who played Squints, I've stayed in touch with over the years, and Mike Vitar, who played Benny, I've seen a couple times. Besides those guys, uh, I saw Yaya, I've seen Yaya and Bertram one or two times. But other than that, I haven't really seen any of the guys. And, I, you know, I'm hoping they do a reunion because I would love to see all these guys. You know, there's that final scene in the movie, or actually it's not, well, in the final scene where uh, Scotty Smalls is watching Benny the Jet steal home, there's a photo on his wall. And uh, the director has that photo from the actual shooting. But that photo was taken by the director. And I, I, I remember like it was yesterday. We finished wrapping on the film. They said, that's a wrap. Everyone cheered, hugged. And uh, then they said, wait, wait, wait. Got to get everyone together because we were all in the outfit still. And said, one last shot. Took the shot. And it's just like the movie says. Like, we splintered off and kind of lived our own lives. And we all sort of moved on, you know. They could make a sequel 20 years later of your kids all getting together on the sand. They they should they could totally make a sequel of uh, everything we became we became because in the end of the movie you know I became a wrestler yep. so he could he could do the whole thing it'd be mm -hmm. funny. It's funny. Well, it was a great movie and congratulations 20 years after the fact. Thank you. Yeah. I told you before our kids' favorite movie, and our favorite movie. I don't think really in the in the kind of history of great baseball movies. It, it, it has kind of a cult following, obviously, as you know. I don't think it's appreciated as good of a baseball movie as it really is. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, it does. Uh, hey, look, it's it's been an amazing experience and exceeded expectations. So I'm, uh, I'm proud to Ben Ham. The great Ham Bino. Yes. Patrick Rennett with us here on SDLSportsPage.com.